think that was in the forecast. What the hell do we do now? I think I might have left it at home. Hey, let's go home then. Okay, well, better start looking. All right, you go over there, I'll go this way. Nope, not up here. I think this is the same tree I climbed up when I was five. Ended up getting stuck. I think Scott still loved me back then and decided to climb up here and save my life. Better keep looking. Nope. Nowhere in the trees. Speaking of the trees, when I was younger I used to look up to Scott quite a bit. For Nintendo we used to play like imaginary Transformers, imaginary Ghostbusters, which I think annoy the heck out of them too. We used to have a tree house down in those trees. Enough about that, I gotta find that speed. Saloon, legend has it, Scott had 18 shots for his 18th birthday. It didn't really end well for him. So we're here to challenge that because, quite frankly, we think he's a pansy. Cheers. <laughs> This hand is crap. What the heck? Barry? Hola, como estas? Arriba, arriba! Jody? Hey. Betty? Chili? Who had pocket deuces? All right, someone's cheating. Betty, you're drooling. I can tell you got pocket aces. What the heck? I thought this was strip poker. I thought this is what we're wearing to the wedding. Seriously, someone's being a real female dog. Somebody leave a window open? Have we decided if we're playing strip poker or not? Oh, my kidneys are starting to hurt. How much calcium oxalate is in this cow? You okay, buddy? Do you want me to drive you to the hospital? Oh, man. I don't feel so good. I think that chicken's coming up. You want the chicken? Yeah. Oh, I need to cool down, I think. Well, that reminds me. In the speech, I had something about Scott working at the Didsbury Pool. Is that a butterfly? Let's get out of here. Huh, well, there we, we made it. I'm not even tired after that run. Yeah, I feel pretty good actually. Here we are at the Didsbury Pool. Scott worked here. Yeah, he worked here, I think. He was a lifeguard. I think it was a big part of his high school years, anyways. How, how he made money. His inspiration to be a lifeguard was probably when he saved my life when I was a kid at the lake at our cottage in Ontario. I almost drowned and he jumped in to save me. Maybe I should just go take a quick dip. Yeah, might as well hop in the pool. Alright, All right, let's go.
doing when the what what doing when the what what doing when the fat boys with it. did Scott lifeguard while he was in high school, but he was also pretty active in school sports in Cremona. Actually, yes, that reminds me. I had something in the speech about participating in, in high school sports oh, yeah. in Cremona. Okay, that's good. Probably should have ran there before we ran here. Though. Yeah, that would have made more oh, sense. Well. Okay, well, I guess we're running. All right. So here in Cremona, Scott went to school from kindergarten until grade 12. And as you can see, he graduated here in the year 2000. And while he maintained a high grade average, the most important thing to him about going to school here was participating in school sports. Basketball! Volleyball! <laughs> Badminton! You even know how to play this? As well as track and field and cross country running, but especially pole vault, but we can't really emulate pole vault in the gym. Jeremy, what the heck are you doing? So after Scott graduated from here at the Cremona School, he went on to, oh shoot, what was it? I didn't see him for a while. I didn't see him either. I'm pretty sure he was drafted in the military. That doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't sound right at all. Actually, you know what? It was, uh, L uh, L Albuquerque. No. no, that doesn't sound right either. Lethbridge. Yes, that's right. Come to think of it, I had something in my speech about him going to university in Lethbridge. Let me guess, we're going to Lethbridge. We're going to Lethbridge. Okay. All right. I have no idea where the heck we are. We've been walking for hours. I think I saw a sign back there that said Saskatoon. Saskatoon? How the heck did we end up in Saskatoon? I have no idea. Well, we gotta get back there somehow. We can call Lindsay, I guess. Maybe you should still be at the head table. I'll well, call Yeah, maybe can call Lindsay. Yeah, hey, Lindsay. So, are they getting restless over there? No? Still good? All right. Well, Tom and I haven't been able to find this beach yet, but we think we're in Saskatoon, and uh, I think we just better come back now. So do you think you can come pick us up? All right, sounds good. Is that Mr. C? Mr. C, is that you? Ah, uh, yes. So you're probably wondering why we're dressed yeah, like this. I am definitely wondering yes. why you're dressed like this. Well, we've just come from uh, Scott's wedding and we've lost a page of our speech for the groom and the toast. You taught Scott back oh, in Oh, yeah. I sure on. did, yes. I, I had a head of hair when I started teaching. <laughs> and uh, after that year, we lost most of it. But, uh, I was just about to leave Cremona after I taught him. So you might say he forced you into retirement then? Well, I didn't really retire exactly. I just took up. So a much more lucrative Work form of <laughs> oh. oh, I had a great nap. Where are we? I don't know, it feels hot. Oh. Are your hands even tied? Because I'm just kind of holding mine behind me. Yeah, me too. I think we can take these off now. Yeah. Whoa, where are we? Where are we? How the heck did we end up at our cottage in Ontario? I don't know, but we made phenomenal time. We've only been gone a few minutes. Man, and we thought we were lost in Saskatoon. I still can't believe we're at the lake. This is crazy. I know. Oh, and it's also convenient. I had a huge part in my speech about this place. That but is convenient. The lake was a big part of our childhood growing up. We used to come out here every summer, drive and sometimes fly. And now that we're grown up, we still try to come out every summer. You know, spending time with family. Swimming. Football off the dock. Fishing. Why won't this stupid thing cast? Ah! Ah! Chill! 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 Windsurfing, but I don't think we want to attempt windsurfing. No, that was more of Scott's thing. Golfing? As well as tubing. And tubing's a good one too, because that was something that we all enjoyed. And in fact, I think we got some time. We could probably fit in a quick tube. Yeah, let's do it.
We should really get back now, even though we've been making great time. Wait a second. Wasn't Lindsay supposed to pick us up in Saskatoon? Oh yeah, that's right. I wonder what happened to him. Where the heck is he? Well, how are we going to get back now? I don't know. I guess we could go see if Mr. Seal drives. He should still be there. I think he probably would be there, even though he kidnapped us. He's probably waiting there to drive us back. Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, that sucks. What the heck are we going to do now? I don't know. Honestly, I'm surprised that he drove away like that. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed in Mr. C. I thought he was nicer than that. Well, I guess we have to fly home now. That would be the fastest. I don't even have any money on me. I'm sitting at the head table. I didn't even bring my wallet. Well, what the heck are we gonna do? This is such a great plan, selling lake rocks to people down the shore. It's foolproof. Yeah, I can't believe people haven't thought of it before. It's a gold mine. This is so going to work. We're going to be at the wedding in no time. So you want us to give you money for a rock? No, no, no. These are painted rocks. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. No way. Get off our Get off porch. Our porch. Well, that one lady sure wasn't very nice. No, she wasn't very nice at all. What did you get? I got $5.15 and an earplug. I got this fishing reel, five cents in Canadian tire money, this lure, a few Cheerios, a couple toothpicks, and that one lady gave me this severed arm. I gotta hand it to you, Tom. You got a lot more than I did. But I still don't think this is gonna be enough to fly us home. No, this will be plenty. I work for an airline. Trust me, I know. Worth it? Uh, do we even have anything? I don't think we have anything. That was a giant waste of time. Okay, so let's just wing it then. All right. All right. Wait a second. You know where Lindsay is? Oh, yeah, he came to look for us. I'm sure he made it back. Uh, he'll be there. All right. Well, let's go back in. They were asking if you were around. How you was, where you could be found. I told them you were living downtown, driving all the old men crazy. 